I used to weigh 275 pounds and I struggled for years to lose weight. I would get a little bit of results and then I would fail and I would gain back what I lost plus more. And I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong. Finally, I realized there were five things that I was doing that were actually causing me to gain weight without even realizing. Once I figured that out, I was able to fix them and lose 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be the only one to tell you the truth about these things because some of these things can be hard to hear, but they really help me. And so here's the first one. The first thing that I did was I started to eat salad to lose weight and to be healthy. What I didn't do though, was account for all the calories in the toppings that I was adding to my salad. Yes, salad can be a, a great weight loss tool and it's good for you. But what I was doing was adding a ton of calories on top of the salad and not even realize how many calories I was consuming. And I was actually eating in a surplus thinking I was eating healthy and that I was gonna lose weight doing it. You need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. It's the only rule that applies. Just because something is healthy doesn't mean it's low calorie. You can eat healthy things, but you still have to know how much of it you're eating. So this is what I was doing. I drew a diagram for you. I know how much you and Sassy love my diagrams. Yes. But this is an example of what I was doing with my salad. So I would decide to eat salad so that I could eat healthy and lose weight. This is my bowl, this is my lettuce. I would put about a bag of the romaine lettuce hearts that you can buy at the store. I would say about three cups. So about 23 calories. And you know, most of the time, I wasn't even thinking that lettuce had calories. Then I would add, you know, some cucumbers for the health, about a handful. That's eight calories. Then I would add some nuts because they're healthy fats and they're good for you. A handful of pecan pieces are about 280 calories. I would add about half a package. I really love the great value cooked chicken strips. I would add about half a package. That's about 120 calories. Then I would add a handful of shredded cheese. That's 120 calories. Then I would eyeball enough dressing to make it taste good. Let's say about four tablespoons, which is about 280 calories. By the time I'm done, my salad for lunch is about 831 calories. I have no idea. That was more than double what I thought I was eating in a day. We get asked all the time, I'm eating in a calorie deficit, but I'm not losing weight. Well, if you're not losing weight, you're not in a calorie deficit. And we get asked also, Nicole, why do you count your lettuce? Why do you count your vegetables? Well, because 23 calories for lettuce, eight for cucumbers. If you're not accounting for that, you could think that you're eating in the deficit, but you're actually going over by not counting those things that you don't think matter. We track everything because everything that goes in your body does actually matter. And salad can be a great tool because if you choose things wisely, like I love salad, if you choose low calorie stuff that you add to it, you can actually make a really great low calorie, high volume meal that will help you feel full and help you stay in a calorie deficit. But you need to be tracking all of the things that you're putting in it and be aware of how many calories you're actually eating so that you can be in a calorie deficit to lose the weight. Two, removing your favorite food groups. So I started removing my favorite food groups, my favorite foods, pizza, ice cream, carbs. I thought they were the problem. I didn't wanna look at, it wasn't the carbs or the ice cream that was the problem. What I did was I would remove those thinking they would help me lose weight. Get rid of those, no more problems, I'm gonna lose weight, I'll be happy. What I do is if I tell myself not to eat something, I'm gonna eat more of it. So I would end up feeling restricted and deprived, start craving something, and then all heck would break loose. Along with weight, I also struggled with emotional eating. So that craving something, I would eat it, I would feel guilty, it would trigger my emotional eating, all heck would break loose, I would go through this never ending cycle. I didn't wanna look at the truth, which was I needed to eat less. 
you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. It was really hard for me to hear, especially because of my emotional eating. Once I was ready to hear that, I was able to go, okay, how do I make this easier for myself? I like carbs, I like ice cream, I like pizza. I started including all of the food groups, eating a balance, and a balance included treats like pizza and ice cream. Then, in order to get in a calorie deficit, I measured them out using portion control. So I looked at the backs of the packages and I used the serving sizes on the back as a guide. That's what helped me lose the weight. I was able to stick to it instead of feeling deprived and restricting myself all the time. I'm making this video because I did not, I so desperately wanted to lose weight, but I didn't want to look at I needed to eat less. So I spent years searching for magic pills, thinking if I just eat salad, if I just take away carbs, something will help me lose weight and I won't have to look at the eating less. Once I was ready to address that, I was actually able, it felt like a weight went off of my shoulders and I started enjoying my weight loss journey and treating it like a lifestyle change instead of a diet. I didn't make weight loss a punishment anymore. Number three, I assumed that, cal that zero calorie foods actually had zero calories and I would eat a ton of them and not track anything thinking there were no calories. The problem is just because a food says zero doesn't mean it doesn't have calories. The FDA doesn't require manufacturers to put calories if it's under five. So things like sweetener, it says zero. There is actually calories, it's just the company doesn't have to put it if it's under a certain amount. Same with coffee. I always thought that coffee had no calories. No, anything you put in your body has calories. So I used to go ham with the sweetener, ham with drinking coffee all the time, having no idea that I was drinking calories or consuming calories and sweetener. So what I do, don't listen to me, this is just what I do, I'm not like a professional, but I automatically add five calories now if it says zero, just so that I have a more accurate idea of how much I'm consuming, and I use the measurements on the back so that I know that I'm not gonna go into a surplus and I can actually stick to what I'm doing and lose weight. Number four, I skipped breakfast. When I was overweight, um, I wasn't really hungry in the morning, so I thought, well, hey, if I'm not hungry, why don't I just skip it? I'll save calories and then it'll help me lose weight. But it was actually counterproductive because by the end of the day, I would be so hungry that I would eat everything in the house. All heck would break loose. So it was counterproductive and I would end up being in a surplus and gaining weight. So I started looking at, okay, why don't I put breakfast in? And I decided to have five smaller meals spread throughout the day, every two to four hours, because that worked for me and my schedule. So I ate breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. And that really helped me feel balanced and fuel my day so that I wasn't feeling so starving at night that I needed to overeat all the time. Eating breakfast for me starts my day off right. It gets my metabolism rolling. I feel good. It helps me fuel everything I'm doing and it just sets me up for success. If I skip a meal or remove a food group, it just sets me up for failure because anytime I tell myself not to do something, I'm the kind of person that has to do it and has to do it hard. <laughs> and the friends, if you wanna know the exact portions and meals that I ate to lose the weight because I lost my weight with portion control, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link is down below. Code Nicole will save you 10%. I also have Huddled HTLT Steps. Best protein powder ever. This is Luckier Marshmallow Cereal. It's my favorite because I'm a cereal girl and it satisfies my cravings. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. Number five. <laughs> Number five. I didn't count cooking oil, so the oil that I was cooking my food with, or cooking spray. I just thought because if I'm cooking my food in it, I'm not actually eating it, so I don't need to keep track of the calories. 
However, one teaspoon of canola oil um, is about 40 calories. And I was definitely using more than one teaspoon, probably a couple of tablespoons. The food absorbs the oil and the cooking spray as it cooks. So you do have to account for all of those calories. There's no free calories anywhere. If you're consuming something, it's got calories, so make sure you account for it. So I thought, okay, I'll get rid of the cooking oil, I'll do cooking spray. There's no calories in that. And some cans, if you buy them, do actually say zero, which we've already covered. But what I didn't know, so I'd spray the heck out of my pan. Good, saving calories, no oil here. Um, uh, there's calories. Ha um, depending on the kind you buy, a half second spray can be either four calories or five calories. And I was spraying at least five to 10 seconds, like <laughs> And, and they look, add up. And this is not to get pedantic no. and, or stuck on calories because mm -mm. like Nicole said, we lost our weight with portion control. So our early, like the first 50 is just the portions that yes. Nicole ate. Um, leaner, not meaner and guilt free has calories yes. because we're, we're able to handle that now. But we didn't even know it in the beginning, just by portioning our food, we ate less and we're in a deficit. That's exactly it. Um, I lost all the weight with portion control because that was what I could handle. Any numbers or tracking like triggered my emotional eating. So doing the portion control really helped me eat less so I could get in a calorie deficit and lose the weight. Now, yes, like Kyle said, we can handle the calories. And it's not about being obsessive, like he said, about calories. It's just about being mindful, tracking what you're putting in your body. Because if you think it's not going to matter or it's not a lot of calories or, you know, they add up when you're not aware. So and it's just being aware of it. We found with our own experience and then talking to thousands of you guys over the years, once something's deemed healthy, it's like the brain turns off like, oh, okay, I don't have to track this at all. I don't have to portion it. I don't have to count the calories. It's healthy. Exactly. Well, that's why these are secret because once somebody here is healthy, usually they just don't, they just pile it on. Yeah, they automatically... It's like I automatically thought, and I think a lot of people do too, like magic pill. Okay, it's healthy, so if I just eat this, I'll lose weight. But you still have to be aware of how much you're eating, and that's it. You know, this is the funny thing. Weight loss is so simple because there's only one rule, which is calories in, calories out. You like have if, to be in a calorie deficit. If I removed all carbs and just ate steak and butter and I'm in a surplus of calories, I'll gain weight. It doesn't matter about the carbs. It's calories. And that's why it's like, it's so tricky because it's so simple, but it's also so hard because no one wants to hear you have to eat less. It's very hard to hear that. But this is what we did. We started enjoying what we were eating, eating what we liked, eating it in portion, and not making weight loss a punishment. And that was what helped us lose the weight. Just eating a little bit less, not taking away carbs. There's no bad, nothing is bad, nothing is causing the problem. Only overeating, eating in a surplus is causing the problem. So you can make life easier by eating the things you enjoy in a way that you enjoy, but just by keeping an eye or keeping track of how much you're eating so that you can eat a bit less and actually lose the weight and get the results and keep the weight off. So the friends, I hope this video helped you. Um, Kyle and I have been there, we get it. It's really hard to hear this, but we're telling you the truth because we needed to hear it and when we were ready, it was like a weight off our shoulders and that's why we've been able to get the weight off and keep it off for so long because we literally love what we're doing now. We love our food. We just love life. You are allowed to enjoy this. You're allowed to make this easy on yourself. Watch this vid and this vid for more sustainable weight loss tips and fun because we're real friends losing weight in the real world. We love you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. I'll catch you in the next vid. Yeah. Did you do the limbo when you were a little stuff? Yeah, I wasn't very good at it. Me neither. Uh, under the limbo stick. Bye guys. Love ya. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> I'm editing the whole last five minutes. You're keeping it because it's cute. <laughs>
Bye. <laughs> see it. They'll never see this. You'll love it. Bye. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. <laughs>